Hello everyone, my name is Gautami and I'm from the Enterprise Catalyst Center TAC team in Bangalore. I'm here today to give you insights on the AMA session that we hosted on PNP and LAN automation features of DNAPL. The forum was hosted by Pandyan, Shankar and me and was open from 15th of March to 9th of April. The forum was very well received by all the customers and partners. We had 18,000 views, 530 unique views, 330 plus kudos and 49 unique posts. Now shifting gears to the technical aspect of our AMA forum. So what is DNAC, uh, PNP and LAN automation? DNAC is a software based application and a controller which helps you to monitor and manage your network devices. It provides you a single pane of view where you can monitor and configure your network devices. Besides LAN automation and plug and play, it has a wide variety of features like template deployments, assurance, inventory management, software image upgradation. What is PNP then? PNP, as the name suggests, is plug and play. You just plug your uh, devices into your network and let DNAC do its job. If the PNP agent on the device will connect to DNAC and it will take the configuration from the DNAC. LAN automation works over PNP and helps configure underlay of your network. This saves you a lot of time and efforts and also uh, maintains consistency in your network configuration. As a part of this AMA forum, we provided the users with a few reference materials, which were some PDFs and some YouTube videos for them to understand the feature. As a part of this AMA forum, we received multiple questions, which we could broadly classify into three themes. One was product information, second was configuration assistance, and third was troubleshooting and best practices. So looking at the first theme, we picked some uh, random questions from there and uh, the product information uh, questions uh, were around uh, how is LAN automation different from plug and play. LAN automation works over plug and play, configuring the underlay of the network. We had a question where we were asked whether unsupported devices can be onboarded using this feature. Well, if it's unsupported, it's obviously not tested, so we don't recommend it. Do we have any prerequisites for uh, plug and play? Yes, we do. You have to make sure that the required ports are open and depending on the method that you are using for plug and play, be it DHCP, DNS or Cloud Connect, you need to make sure that you have the required configurations in place. Another question was how many devices or to what scale can we go when you are onboarding the devices? So PNP as such does not have any limit. But for LAN automation, we recommend that you stick to around 50. Moving to theme 2, which is configuration assistance, we picked a few questions around this theme, which asked us how or what is the workflow for a LAN automation. So LAN automation has a detailed workflow, which you can obviously refer in the user guide. But to give you a brief, uh, it requires planning in terms of the IP pools, the seed device that you would use to onboard your uh, new incoming device. Right? And you also need to ensure that the new device that you're onboarding is clean slate. It does not have any pre-existing configurations. So how about pushing multiple uh, configurations onto your devices or bulk uh, configuration onto your devices? While there is a separate feature for this called template deployment, but you can also push templates when you're onboarding your devices into the network. So what are the discovery mechanisms for PNP? So basically there are th three different mechanisms for discovery using plug and play. One is DHCP, one is DNS and one is Cloud Connect. DHCP option 43 is configured in the DHCP server. So when the device connects the DHCP server in an option 43, it will receive the IP address of DNAT to which it will contact to fetch the configuration. In DNS option, the DNS server will resolve the IP address of DNAT so that the device can connect to DNAC server and fetch the configuration. Cloud Connect is an option if the first two don't work or if you don't want to use it, wherein the device would need reachability to the cloud. Is this a zero touch provisioning? Yes, it is because it requires very minimal user intervention, saving users a lot of time and efforts. And what are the options for plug and play? Plug and play basically has three options. One is DHCP where you need to configure DHCP option 43 to provide the device the IP address of the DNAC server to which it can contact and fetch the configuration. The other option is DNS server where the device would contact the DHCP to get the DNS IP 
which would then resolve the pnt.server.domain.com. So the third theme, uh, it was about troubleshooting and best practices. So coming to troubleshooting, what are the logs that we check when any task is stuck or PNP and LAN automation is not working? Uh, there are four set of logs that you can check. One is the connection manager, one is the onboarding service, uh, another one is inventory and an uh, the fourth one would be the orchestration service. So like we mentioned before, whenever you initiate a plug and play or LAN automation, one of the prerequisites is to ma make sure that your devices are clean slate. They do not have any other configurations in it. If it's out of the box, you don't need to worry. But if it's a reused device, then you have to make sure that you're resetting the configuration. For iOS version 16.12 onwards, you can use the command PNPA service reset. But if you're having iOS version before that, you have to manually execute commands to eliminate any device configuration and even the certificates. The best, the best practices for PNP Cloud Connect what you basically need in this method of discovery is that the router should get a public facing IP and also the DNAC should have reachability to cloud. Once both DNAC and the device have internet connectivity, they'll be able to reach the cloud and from there on, DNAC will be able to process its plug and play workflow. In addition to the forum that we hosted, we also hosted a forum on SWIM. We plan to host more such forums so please do make good use of it, post your questions and get a response from the Cisco expert. Thank you so much.